This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Shaiju Matthew and Revive Nations. I'm Super K, and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Joshua, don't be afraid. Look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a white boat. Oh, man, All you need is water, some food coloring, and Red some bleach. Not. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. When John is asking Jesus, should we wait for somebody else or is it you? It looks like a very innocent question. Like, are you the revivalist or should we wait for another revivalist? Okay. It looks a very innocent, genuine question. It looks like, oh, I really want God to visit our nation. Yet the response of Jesus was what? Blessed are the ones that are not offended. <laughs> In other words, Jesus is saying, you, are, you don't really care for revival. <laughs> wow. What you are asking is not that really you are looking for salvation. What you are really asking is that you are offended. Something happened that caused John to be offended. So you have to locate the place of offense. And the place of offense was what? Was that he sees a certain style of the ministry of Jesus and he sees that his own people are leaving him. He's seeing. He's unhappy about certain things that he has not had access to. Yet, John doesn't pursue Jesus. Because John would have access to that Jesus that others had access. 
all he had to do was pursue him okay so i want to help you with one of the most powerful things the prophetic grace is one such that it wait for you to be qualified to receive a certain grace and you don't even realize what that grace is until you've lost that grace okay one more time <laughs> so scary this is the key reason why absaloms are born in the kingdom the key reason why judas is a born in the kingdom is because they do not know about the grace that they have lost until they have lost it they do not know what they have missed until they have missed it until they have gone a far distance by talking things that they can't take back working things that they can now erase and now when they start starving starvation okay the biggest miss that a child of god can have in the kingdom is starvation starvation of food okay the opposite is true the greatest visitation that you can have in your city is the opposite of salvation naomi heard that god had visited their land and they now had bread the woman was wise enough to recognize that the presence of bread was the presence of God's visitation and the opposite is true in the church today there is absence of meat yet there is a sermon that is preached every week but people eat it so often now they can't even tell the difference between real bread and lab made bread we are enjoying mcdonald's burger and fries every week and we can't even differentiate between mama's burger and mcdonald's burger forget comparing with the cake we don't we don't even want to go there we can't even say the difference between mcdonald's burger and the mama's burger so what happens is then comes offense then comes offense then their question is how is he better than us you know the then then comes the introduction of age they find out how old you are <laughs> and now it hurts and then they found out that we have not been to our bible college <laughs> now it, it becomes punishable <laughs> a punishable offense how could anything good come out of nazareth because with all the qualification this is what we have produced this is the burger we managed so any time a word comes you have to always look at both sides of the word so when god is telling people that these guys could not receive something because they got offended then the opposite is true that if you may not be offended but if you are not connected oh you too will miss it okay so their sin is what that lack of connection your sin then becomes the need for connection wow 
so some of you can say oh but well well i have done no fault i've been good i've been focused i have not sinned the way that others have sinned yet at the same time you have not connected okay so the the sin was not just the fact that they couldn't recognize something there is a sin of committing an act and there is a sin of withholding yourself and not fulfilling what you were supposed to have done both are still considered a, a sin before the lord both are still god is still looking at it and say you i sent you someone instead of tapping into the fullness of that grace you have still not tapped into everything that is supposed to happen look i'm not saying about you i can talk about myself when i submitted to my spiritual father i remember for one year i received nothing one year later i i, I told myself something is not right i said i, I don't think man god is very anointed but i don't think it's flowing through me so i said no 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 i i i need to reexamine my life what am i doing i was hearing him but not allowing that grace to flow through me best example i can give you is that woman who was bleeding there were hundreds of people that were pushing jesus in fact when jesus said who touched me they all were laughing at the master they're like oh my goodness master must be really tired he needs he needs a break because he's asking who is touching me when everybody is touching me but out of all that were touching jesus only one could touch him differently in a way that could into the power in him of all the people what have you done today to tap into the virtue where the master can turn around and say i feel the virtue flow out of me I was uh, sitting in a room full of people. There was at least 6-7 people. I could tell the hand of God was on me. And yet one lady came into the room. She came close to where I was and was just started greeting. within second she started shaking within second she was on her knees weeping and i could feel anointing flow out of me towards her but my question was not i hey, look she's receiving my question was why didn't the rest of the people in the room not tap into what this woman was tapping into the power of god can come in a location in a meeting and it can go to different parts of the world in different parts of the same room and some people can just drag it into them and sometimes it just returns and it will all depend on the way you process it the way you tap into it let me give you another key god looks at daniel he's been fasting for 21 days says i have to bless him. the hand of the lord comes to visit him something happens his body doesn't have the capacity to stand up 
another time the bible says how the hand of the lord picked him up put him on his knees and on his palm of his hand okay on his knees and the palm of his hand so he's basically almost like a dog just on four four legs right on his knees and on his palm and then the voice of god comes to him and says stand upright so then the question is god i was on the floor you sent your stretched your arm and strengthened me to now go on my knees and on my palm can you not help me a little more to stand upright no he doesn't okay so i want you to see the manner of how god works because then you can understand how much help you will get from heaven because we christians we are spoiled it's still waiting the only thing you have to is coming for you for sure is the second coming of jesus everything else you're missing <laughs> the lord sees his fragility so i'm going to help you but after that you have to help yourself Okay. two layers god says i'm going to help you but after that you have to help yourself because the lord is not coming for a foolish bride he's coming for a wise virgin yes yes the foolish virgins are going to be left behind but they're still virgins they're still virgins they're still consecrated look this should make us scared they they still consecrated yet they were foolish and the lord is not coming back for a foolish bride he's coming back for a so we have to understand the process of god's help otherwise you'll keep waiting for god to help and you'll miss out on god so god is saying i will help you enough for you to go on your knees but then when i bring you to that point from there you have to pick yourself up because standing in front of me should not be a forced moment you get what i'm saying when you stand before god it should not be an event that was forced yes. upon you it has to be a choice in order for it to be a choice god could not have forced daniel to stand up in front of him i need you to make a choice to get over your weaknesses and get used to standing before this light but also means that you will always be found with weakness It is not like now I have learned to do this so next week when I have an encounter I won't be found with weakness no 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 next week when he comes again again he will be on your face and again you will have to learn to stand up right one more time a child of god has to keep learning how to stand upright before the lord Now it's not because you are found with the same weakness. Okay? Please don't think that okay I can just stay in sin. No 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 no. The closer you get to the light, the light always locates to you parts of you that you've never located before. Flaws in you that you never located before. weaknesses in you that you never thought existed this is why many people don't survive a prophetic ministry they don't like a ministry that points to their flaws they don't like a ministry that will expose the wrong thinking uh, 
but the question is are you waiting for the second coming or are you as a believer waiting to have dominion on earth yes. So if you are looking for dominion and not just a sitting duck that is just waiting for the return you have to learn how the language of God works you have to learn the manner of God's communication are you getting what i'm saying you have to learn what the manner in which God communicates God is saying okay i'll help you halfway through now you have to stand up you have to choose holiness you i will help you halfway through john but you have to choose to stop this mind attacks in your mind that part i'm not going to help you yes that part you have to help yourself yes i will help you elijah i will send you an angel and he will come and give you some bread but that's not the real deal the real deal i'll give it to you when you reach the mountain top okay but this bread is only given to you just enough to snap out of your mind attacks this jezebel had conquered his mind paralyzed crippled him said i'm going to give you enough grace to get you on your knees and get you on the palm of your hands but now from there you have to decide to run yes, yes. and if you do run Gosh. then i will meet with you on the mountain top yes Oof. so so when you start getting closer into an electrifying ministry like this your flesh will act up yes. your flesh will your mind will act up your ego will be exposed you will start you know you didn't know that there was such crawlings inside you thought you were delivered until you realized there was layers of deliverance yes and at that point you get to choose whether now you are going to be part of the group that will reign on earth or you will be part of a group that will crucify jesus it's a choice one of the characteristics of a mature child of god is in his way of being unmoved because the character of god is what is unmoved so maturity of a child of god is how he is he knows and once you locate that answer then you become unmoved by whatever the enemy is unmoved you're like i know what is sent for me i know who god chose and many times god uses fragile vessels to make sure to keep you humble he will find you vessels that will get you <laughs> get you in the right place that's the test of humility if he found your vessel that you like then there's no testing of humility needed so he'll find a vessel that you cannot control ay 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 thank you lord so and god waits till you become unmoved when you come to that place of calm and rest rest and obedience if you come to that place of rest without obedience then you will waste time 
but if you can come to the place of rest combined with obedience of what god's word is saying obedience of principles that activate god's glory now that place of rest and obedience is the conductor of electricity from god hello welcome once again thank you for being part of the revive nations family we appreciate all our partners around the world that helps us to get the word to you as the word is coming to you life is coming to every part of the world anything that's falling apart becomes whole and restoration is possible now you can hear all sermons on the shaiju matthew app don't forget to download that on your devices subscribe to our social media platform and let us grow together we love you and thank you once again for being part of this journey until next time god bless you and shalom many of us love jesus by our words facebook posts and scripture quotes but when god wanted to show us how much he loved us he gave up his only begotten son He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Joshua, don't be afraid. Look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a wet boat. Look at all this shit. All you need is water, some food coloring, and Bread. some bleach. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services.